Today we go over Star Wars The Last Jedi. Welcome back everyone, this is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Thank you also very much for the kind support, it is greatly appreciated. Today we will be discussing The Last Jedi, The Force Tree, and Yoda, and why I am now to believe that Yoda is going to be in The Force Tree in the form of a Force Ghost. So in case you guys did not know about this, Star Wars Land is going to become a thing in 2019, both over in, I believe, Los Angeles and Orlando. I don't know which one's going to be finished first, I'm going to assume the one over in California, but I digress. So real interesting things are popping up that they are going to borrow some elements from The Last Jedi to use in the theme parks that are all Star Wars related. And one of the things that they are going to borrow from the film, The Last Jedi, is the gigantic force tree where Taurus can go inside of the tree, look around. But what's real interesting is there's a lot of rumors popping up here that you will hear Yoda's voice within the tree talking to you. And to me, the minute I think about that, it really sounds like something that they would throw right in the theme park. Now, the fact that they are throwing in the forest tree and the fact that people can go into this thing and look around and look at the old Jedi books and stuff like that and they hear Yoda over the speakers in the form of a forest ghost, it really leads me to believe that this could very well be where Yoda is seen in The Last Jedi through the eyes of Rey. We do know that the sizzle reel that one of the reporters, I believe it was from the Hollywood Reporter if I'm not mistaken, he got to go ahead and look at a sizzle reel back in April and one of the shots was actually Rey in a cave with these orbs around her head which could be the beginning of the formation of Yoda's force ghost. But what if that wasn't a cave? What if that was inside the tree? I know a lot of people mistaken Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi's teaser trailer as being in a cave, but he's really in a tree. So the same thing could have happened with Rey, where she's actually in a tree, these orbs appear out of nowhere, you hear Yoda's voice, and then he appears in front of her for, let's say, 30 seconds to a minute. And I think that this would be the best way to explain things to the fans of exactly how they could transfer something really great from The Last Jedi into a theme park. And I think that given that Star Wars Land won't be done till 2019, it just makes sense that they would throw something like this into the theme park. Something so amazing and scenic and inspiring. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. Thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.